Yo, what's up guys? You got PokeAim here, and today I am proud to present episode 1 of Road to Top 10, or SOU. Now, before I actually get into explaining what that is, for those of you that may be new, I just want to give a huge shout out to my boy Ray. Uh, his Twitter link, as well as his Twitch link, will be in the description for making that intro for me. I love it. I, if anybody knows me, they know I love Whitney. So that definitely is an accurate representation of me, and I, I love it. Okay, I love the Game Corner music, and uh, yeah, I just love it completely. So, um, yeah. Anyway, if you guys are excited for Road to Top 10 or SO, I haven't even explained what it is. Basically, I'm on Pokemon Showdown right now, and uh, I'm on the OU ladder, and I'm going to do my best to make it. As you can see right here, it says a ladder. I'm going to do my best to make it to uh, Top 10, which would be about 1800 right now. And I may even go for a CP, don't quit. Okay, this is definitely Telly. I may even go for uh, rank one, maybe if we can make it there. So uh, yeah, if you guys are excited for this, feel free to show the support. I very much appreciate it, the likes, the comments, all that stuff. You know, favorite, share it, tweet it out. This is probably one of the most hype um, series on my channel. I actually did this almost a year ago, if not a year ago. And uh, I did OU and then for X and Y, and then I did UU, RU, NU, Ubers, uh, Little Cup, stuff like that. So I did them all, um, though I didn't end up finishing Little Cup. But uh, anyway, that's in the past. Let's actually look for a battle. I'm using a team that uh, my boy CBB made for his OST uh, run, or the revamp of OST rather. And that's a rain team with Mega Garchomp, pretty fitting, I guess. And uh, we found a battle right away. My opponent's team is also using rain which is really cool um that means it's not going to be a weather where i can actually just lead off a kingdra and probably just start dropping dracos at this point i really don't see a reason not to um yeah kingdra can put in work i gotta be careful about scissor but at the same time like almastar is gonna take a hit kingdra is gonna take a hit and i can just knock it out with hydro pump so i think my main goal is gonna be to um catch seismitoad with like a draco or just wear this thing down that way I can um, that way I can just sweep him by clicking Hydro Pump because even though these do resist water, they're not going to take a Specs Hydro Pump in the rain. So I'm expecting to lead off with like Thunderous or something like that. So uh, what can I beat Thunderous with? So that's, that's actually a really hard lead for me. Uh, I kind of want to lead off with my Feral Thorn just because I can knock it off. I can, um, I can go for Leech Seed. I can set up my Stealth Rock, and he has no hazard control. And Seismitoad is definitely his Stealth Rocker, so if he actually does end up leading off with Seismitoad, I am going to go right for Power Warp as opposed to getting up my Stealth Rock, as I want to get rid of that thing. Um, I have to be careful about Gator, but uh, I should be good in this battle. So I'm actually going to pause it. Oh, it actually ends up leading off with Seismitoad. Nice. So I'm going to go right for Power Whip, as I did say before, because I do not want to mess around with this threat. If he switches down to Scizor, so be it. He actually ends up staying in, and that is... The thing that can take my water moves gone. Granted, I was not able to get up my Stealth Rock, but that huge, huge, huge threat is gone. So I think it's time. I think it's time we get up the rain. I see no reason not to. Um, this thing might actually have Heat Wave, but uh, I don't want to risk it having Heat Wave. I also don't want to take a Focus Blast. So I'm actually going to go out to my Polytoad, set up the rain. Rain benefits me more than it does benefit him, as I do have two Swift Swim users on my team, and it's, it's time. So goes for Heat Wave right there. As uh, he is not a life or baron, he's actually um, maybe a salt vest. So I'm actually gonna go for toxic right here. I just want to wear down this uh, tornadus that way he cannot take any hits from my uh, from my feral thorn. From my not not really from my feral thorn. I do have knockoff on him, but um, which would help me getting rid of his assault vest. But more so from my Kingdra as well as my uh, armor star. So I'm gonna pause it till he makes a move. We'll be right back. All right. So his own polytoe was his play of choice. Um, I can deal with Gator just because of my repeated water attacks, so I am actually going to go out into my Feral Thorn because I do want to get on my Stealth Rock. Stealth Rock ensures some KOs on Tornadus after, um, after the Stealth Rock damage with Hydro Pump Ring boosted, and it also ensures some KOs on, uh, on Gator as well, which is something that I really, really want. So I am going to go for my Stealth Rock right here as he actually ends up going for the Hypnosis. I do burn one turn of sleep though, so I am going to stay in for this next turn. Hopefully I get a first turn wake. Uh, that would be actually very, very nice for me as his Polytoad is being worn down turn per turn by the Toxic. So that's really in my favor right here as that is one of his only uh, water resists. If he actually chooses to go out to Gator, I would expect him to go out into Thunderous to maybe set up if he's like 
uh, a variant that does that or well not really gator because uh, gator ends up coming in and uh, i'm just gonna go right for power up right here as he ends up dragon dancing up i can wake up right here and do a hell of a lot to him as i actually end up missing that is very very unfortunate <laughs> for me but i should be able to live one plus one hit as uh, he actually only has crunch to hit me and uh, power up does connect he is not going to go down and uh, i'm actually going to go for my stealth rock right here because i will be able to live one more hit no matter what attack he goes for he's going to touch me he probably doesn't have earthquake that that would be just weird on uh, gator in general so i'm gonna be able to get up my stealth rock this turn gator should be able to go down and um Ice Punch, even though it did crit me, it does not have a chance to freeze me due to sheer force. And uh, Rain is gone as well, so that's something else that uh, it's going my way. Stealth Rock being up is huge. It's huge for me. I got rid of the two of the biggest threats that I was scared of. Uh, granted, Thunderous can definitely be a problem. He actually ends up going out to Polytoad, which helps me so much. I'm actually confused as to why he did that. So I'm going to go for the Leech Seed right here. I... Uh, as he ends up going for Hypnosis once again. Why is this his play of choice versus my uh, Pharaoh Thorn? That's actually really interesting. Um, I don't want to risk... I, I don't want to risk my Kingdra being burnt because I think I need it more than I need my Alamstar. So I'm actually going to go out to Alamstar right here as he's more likely going to Scald. Uh, as I do end up surviving that. And he does not get the burn, which means I can start firing off some rain-boosted Scalds of my own. The reason I want to switch out Ferrothorn is because if he is like an agility, if he is an agility Thunderous, I didn't want that to uh, be able to basically um, beat me. But he, like, if he agilityed up, I could be in a huge, huge, <laughs> he could just win right there. So I'm just going to keep firing off Scalds as he actually ends up switching out to Scissor. Maybe he expected me to switch out, but I had no reason not to fire off this Scald as, uh, as I'm actually going to, no, I, I don't want to sack. I don't want to sack Ferrothorn because, again, that would give him an opportunity to set up with a Thunderous if it is agility. So I'd rather just stay in and die to this BP as um, I can now go into my Kingdra and uh, once again just click Rain Boosted Scald. He has nothing for this. Uh, uh, probably Ice Beam was actually my better play, but again, I'm able to get rid of the Scizor. And uh, my main thing right now is just making sure I don't lose to his Thunderous. So uh, I think he has a few plays he can make right here. I think Tornadus or Politoed. I'm actually going to calc this attack on Tornadus. Just calc. Just to see how much it does. Um, Kingdra. OU. I'm just going to make it blank. So I already know I'm Choice Specs. 252. Choice Specs is modest. Modest. Choice Specs. Tornadus. Uh, assault vest in the rain. I know Scald isn't gonna knock it out. Obviously, there is no attack there that does anything. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's make sure. Scald does forty-five to fifty-three percent. Okay, so I think my best bet is to sack my um, sack my own Ferrothorn right here uh, to whatever attack he wants to go for, being the Hurricane, and then. Um, Yeah, I can go out into my own Tornadus. I should be able to outspeed him because Assault Vest doesn't always run max speed. Even then, I just want to go in with this thing anyway because I do have Taunt. And I'm actually able to Oko him. I did not see that coming. I, I definitely did not see that coming. But uh, uh, this is great for me because uh, he actually ends up going out to Polytoad. So I'll be able to Hurricane again. This thing should be a solid 2 KO on him. I don't think he has Sleep Talk because he has Hypnosis and Scald. And um, I do have Taunt for his Thunderous, so that thing will not be able to beat me, as in it's not going to be able to set up. So it should be a good game right here. Um, again, I'm just going to taunt, that way he can't set up an agility if he is an agility Thunderous. If he's um, if he's Choice Scarf, so be it, he'll knock me out with Thunder. Uh, he actually is Choice Scarf, so he's able to go for HP Ice, and uh, I do have my Kingdra, which can just come in and uh, just click Ice Beam for the kill. So that's a good game, Madman in the Box, and um, yeah. Let's look for another battle, guys. I'm going to pause until we find one. We'll be right back. All right, so I found another battle, guys. Now, my opponent's water resist is Keldeo. That is not a good water resist, especially for this game. Um, I should be really good to go as well as... Uh, I need to keep my Polytoad alive because I don't want him to... Um, I don't really want him to uh, rock polish up with his Landorus and sweep me. So I'm actually going to lead off with my... Tornadus because I can taunt the Mew. That's I'm looking. I'm thinking that's his Stealth Rockers. He actually ends up leading off with Terrakion. Uh, I might have to make some plays. I might make some plays, guys, this early. 
<laughs> I kind of feel like taunting him, but <laughs> you know what? We got to do it for the live. I'm gonna go for U turn. Uh, kind of expecting him to go for Stone Edge or Stealth Rock. I think this is a Stealth Rocker. That is my honest uh, opinion right there. And uh, even Gar Garchomp puts in so much work, so maybe I should just went for Focus Blast. And now I'm gonna have to let my uh, I'm gonna have to let my Polytoad take damage from this. So I'm gonna go out to Polytoad as he is probably gonna set up a Stealth Rock. Yep, he was um, he was Focus Sash, and I could just go right for Scald. Unfortunately, I have to let my Polytoad take damage. But at the same time, Landers cannot set up versus anything on his team anyway, uh, on my team rather. So um, that's good in a sense that. Uh, wow, that crit sucks. That's good in the sense that um, it won't be able to set up. Like, my Mega Garchomp has Aqua Tail, so it will Oko him, especially in the rain. I have Taunt and Hurricane on my Tornadus, so I should be good to go. Uh, he ends up going out to Mew. I am not sure if this thing is um, some sort of Nasty Plot variant, but I do want to go out into my Ferrothorn anyway just to knock him off, as he ends up going for Energy Ball. I did not see that coming at all, and uh, I'm just going to get up my Stealth Rock right here. Again, uh, I need these to secure some kills, as he unfortunately misses a Fire Blast, that sucks for my opponent. Can't do anything about that though. And I'm actually just gonna go for Leech Seed, as I can uh, wear him down a bit. Oh wow, that's really unfortunate. If he didn't want to miss though, he could have used Ember. Just saying. <laughs> and I'm just gonna hit him with a knockoff now. This Fire Blast shouldn't do too much. Uh, wow, it would have easily took KO me, but after the knockoff, I'm assuming he was extra belt. Yep. Uh, just because I did way too much, I can uh, just repeatedly click knock off right here uh, me will go down the two and uh, yeah I should be okay um, if he goes out to Landers and tries to if he goes out to land that crit didn't matter because uh, leftovers would have knocked it out if that didn't if he goes up to Landers and tries and rock polishes up I can go for knockoff getting rid of his life orb meaning that he won't be able to secure some KOs on a few of my Pokemon so that's definitely um, something that's good for me as Landers does end up coming out. Like I said, I have to go for knockoff right here because if he goes for Rock Polish, I can lose, like, straight off the bat. And um, he doesn't go for Rock Polish as I am able to get rid of his Life Orb, which means that uh, my Pokemon can survive some hits. So, just gonna go right for Leech Seed right here uh, as he is able to knock me out with Earth Power. I can now go out into my uh, Politoed, um, get those secured turns of rain, and. Um, Again, just go for Scald right here. Uh, he has to attack me. It's his only play right here. And uh, I then get to go out into my Mega Garchomp, Mega Evolve, get that extra bulk so an HP Ice won't be able to knock me out, uh, no matter what. And um, I'll just be in a solid position right there. So, Gara of the Sand is, uh, is, is smacking my team around. <laughs> but, like I said, I can now go on to my Garchomp, Mega Evolve, get extra bulk, and uh, just go right for Aqua Tail. I'll be able to knock him out, especially with the Rain Boost. I'm kind of in a bad situation if I miss, but at worst comes to worst, Tornadus can live one hit. And uh, I did want to keep my Tornadus alive just in case his, uh, just in case his Caldeo got a little bit out of hand, uh, depending on what set it was, of course. So I'm just going to go right for Aqua Tail right here. I'll be able to live this Earth Power. I ate that up. And unfortunately, my Aqua Tail misses. That is terrible for me. Um, as he's able to knock me out with the second Earth Power. That really sucks for me. I guess I should have went out into Tornadus then and just hit the Hurricane because it was 100% accurate. And uh, I'm not going to die to any attack he goes for. But I really, really wanted to get the kill with uh, my Mega Garchomp. So that was my fault. I made a mistake right there. And uh, I'm going to pay for it now as... Uh, as Thunderous is going to come out, and um, I'm not entirely sure what he wants to go for. I am i don't really have a play of choice right here, like, I, I gotta go for Hurricane. He's just going to Thunder Wave anyway, and again, I don't have a play. Yeah, I don't have a I, I think I'm going to taunt him, that way he cannot go for, uh, well, I tried to taunt. But I get the confusion, which is nice. I was going to taunt him, that way he couldn't go for Thunder Wave versus my Amistar. Um, but that doesn't seem to be the case as I can now go out into my Amistar right now and uh, start clicking Scald. Uh, Scald should be able to come through. Uh, he does hit himself in Confusion, which is great for me. Uh, I'm going to count that for the, uh, <laughs> the Aqua Tail miss. He more than likely went. He had to go for T-Wave right there because uh, Swiss Swim meant that I outsped his entire team anyway. So I believe he has to go out to Keldeo right here as he actually ends up going out to Metagross. And um, I'm going to be able to go for Scald. If I get a burn, he won't be able to knock me out, and then I'll be able to drop a Draco on Keldeo anyway. So, 
Holy crap, he just goes straight down. I did not expect Meta Mega Metagross to just go straight down to Amistar. Then again, this thing does have 328 special attack. I am a timid nature that way with the uh, Swiss Swim. I can outspeed everything and um, basically outspeed the majority of Pokemon uh, in the OU tier. And uh, I will be able to go right for Scald right here, getting up enough damage to the point where Draco Meteor will definitely be able to knock out this Caldeo uh, no matter what. And if he is Choice Scarf and... Um, that ends up outspeeding me, then I can just drop a Draco anyway and knock him out from 94%. So it should be game. Uh, definitely that confusion helped me. Uh, and of course, he missed Fire Blast versus my Ferrothorn, but uh, you know, if you don't want to miss, use Ember. If I didn't want to miss, I use uh, <laughs> what's a water, a physical water move? I use Waterfall. No, that's not even fun. I use Tail Whip. <laughs> but he is Choice Scarf uh, Caldeo, as I am able to. Um, go for Scald and I actually get the burn which means that I don't even have to risk going for Draco with my uh, with my um, Kingdra as I can just go right for Scald and knock him out so yeah a bit lucky in this one uh, of course if he gets a crit with Secret Sword I don't think it even matters right here but yeah a bit lucky with this one as um, I'm able to survive it I don't even think a crit would actually knock me out there and Scald knocks him out so it's a good game dude and uh, we're gonna look for one more or maybe more than one more but look for another one right here how much time we're we at 16 minutes okay get a few more battles uh, my opponent's team is very scary but at the same time like not scary enough to the point where I, I feel like I lose to it I just get up stealth rock and win that's how I honestly feel right now so I'm actually gonna lead off with my I don't want to lead off with Ferrothorn just in case he chooses to lead off with um just in case he leads off with Magnezone predicting my Politoed that could actually be scary for me but I'm actually gonna lead off with Politoed uh, because I need to get up the rain that way I can 100% get up my stealth rock he's running dragon spam uh, his entire team goes down to <laughs> ice beam or draco meteor from my kingdra perfect for me uh, it's probably yeah he ends up leading off a of jirachi that's great I'm just gonna go right for scald right here as he ends up going for iron head on me for some reason uh, just weakening him to that point as I can go out into my feral thorn right now uh, if he does choose to go for Iron Head again, uh, or if he even switches out, he actually ends up switching out to Magnezone, so uh, that's not too, too bad for me because I will be able to get up my Stealth Rock 100% right here. Even if he goes for HP Fire, I'm in... <laughs> okay, <laughs> it didn't make a difference for me. It's actually better for me as he actually ends up going for uh, Substitute. So that's actually a little bit scary. Um, I'm probably going to have to sack a few Pokemon to actually beat with this, or beat this thing rather, but... Uh, he does not have charge beam, so I'm able to go right for knockoff, get a crit, break his sub. Let's see if, um, the good thing is that I'll be able to 2 KO his sub no matter what. So as many times as he subs, he'll only be able to get off one attack. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's not like I'm going for power up where it's like a 3 or 4 KO versus his sub. So I will be able to, um, repeatedly break his sub uh, no matter what he wants to do. And, um, he does have HP fire, which means that when my Garchomp comes in, I could actually go for Dragon Claw, predicting him to switch out into, uh, Latios, expecting my attack. I'm actually confused as to why he's going for T-Ball. Maybe he's trying to get more out of his sub, but I guess I can see why you'd do that, but he doesn't even have Charge Beam, so. And, uh, this is still a 2 a KO on him no matter what, so. He should go for HP fire right here, as, um, the next one will be able to, uh, break my sub. Um, or the next one will be able to knock me out because of uh, the rain being gone and he will end up with a sub Or he should end up with a sub rather, but he actually does not choose to go for uh, He actually chooses to not go for the uh, the, um, the sub right there really interesting, but I'm gonna go out to my Garchomp and uh, I feel like I want to make a play right here because even though I don't have to, I really, I really want to. Like, I mean, if he stays in and goes for Flash Cannon, so be it. But if he does end up switching out into his Latios, I, I just want to go for Dragon Claw right here. I feel like he is going to stay in and just go for Flash Cannon. But if I'm able to KO the Latios upon switching, like, he doesn't need Magnezone anymore. Uh, except for, I guess, versus Politoed. But like I, like I said, it's, it's not really a risk because Flash Cannon isn't going to do crap to me anyway. And um, if I do get this KO, I'd be good. But he actually ends up going out to Jirachi for some reason. Very interesting play on my opponent's part. Uh, I uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Like, it's really interesting. Um, I Mega Evolve and just go right for the Dragon Claw. I don't even know why I'm Mega Evolving. Uh, I'm gonna go for Dragon Claw right here just in case he wants to U-turn out. As he actually ends up going for Iron Head once again. Like, why is he? 
Why is this his play of choice versus this Pokemon? That's so weird how he switched from Magnezone to Jirachi. If anything, I have saved Jirachi because Jirachi is Choice Scarf. Um, so I'm able to break through the uh, the flinching as he can now go out into his Latios uh, or Mamoswine. Um, if he goes Mamoswine, I'm clicking Aqua Tail just in case he tries to get up a Stealth Rock. If he goes out into Latios, then I'm clicking Dragon Claw because if he knocks me out, then I can go out into my Tornadus and click. Uh, I can click hurricane and knock him out so i'm just gonna go right for aqua tail right here if he knocks me out so be it um if i'm able to connect i think i can actually knock him out just because of garchomp's insane power uh but he's able to knock me out as uh, i can now go out into my um i can now go out into my polytoad and i think my best play is actually going for hypnosis just in case he does try and switch out into his latios because then i can just start like nailing his team um though his entire team does just go down to ice beam at this point from my uh, from my Kingdra or even uh, or even Amistar's Ice Beam right here. So I'm actually gonna go for the. Uh, hmm. I wanna go for Encore just in case he goes for Rock Spot. I think Hypnosis is my better play, um, as I do unfortunately miss. Uh, so be it. I uh, I can just go for Scald now, I guess. Um, that sucks because I would have been able to switch out into one of my Mons and uh, completely wreck him from there. But so be it. Again, uh, basically, I would have been able to go out into Kingdra or Amistar, and I would have been able to get any kill on any member of his team. But because of that play, uh, obviously, I'm not able to. But because this Polytoad does have Encore, it cannot be set up on by Magnezone, by uh, Haxorus, or by um, any mod on his team, rather. So I'm just going to go right for the, uh, the Scald. If he goes for T-Bowl, I, I don't have a resistance anymore. Um, I'm actually able to outspeed him as well, as he's able to knock me out with the T-Bowl. And, um... Okay, so, I think he's in KO range of, um... Based on the Skull Dems, let me see. Life Orb Tornadus, it should be in KO range of Hurricane. I know Magnezone does four times resist it. Wait, is it Hurricane? Okay, I am completely wrong. Oh, no, 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 this isn't Life Orb. 252. Life Orb. Okay, he's definitely not in KO range of that. Um, I think he might actually though be in KO range of. Uh, let me let me calc my Polytoad for one, because if I see how much Polytoad. Oh, you especially defensive. Scald does forty six to that. What did it do? Forty six, etc. Okay, so he might not be running any HP. Let me. Yeah, he's definitely not running any HP. If he is running HP, it's not going to be that much. Kingdra, OU, Rain, whatever. Ice Beam does 25 to... Sick. Okay, Ice Beam does 25 to 29. So I'll be able to knock him out with Ice Beam, and I'll be able to get kills with Ice Beam. Like, Kingdra's just going to be killing everything right now. I just wanted to make sure. Um, granted, he does have a few more turns. Uh, sorry, bro. I was just calcing. My bad. My bad. Um, but yeah, I'll be able to just click Ice Beam right now, and I'll be able to kill everything uh, at this point. And uh, if Rain does... Um, I don't even think rain ends because even if it does end he doesn't have a Pokemon that can Knock me out uh, if rain ends really interesting that he went out to Jirachi from Magna Zone um, Would not have expected that play. I guess he really wanted to try and defog But he's not gonna get that opportunity to unless he's choice Scarf Latios because I don't remember if that actually outspeeds but yeah, D-Knight comes out. Uh, I think he needs to crit me right now at extreme speed if he has choice banded in order to have a chance but even if he does, I still have Amistar in the back as um, he's not able to crit me. That is definitely choice banded damage though. 61% to a Kingdra. Kingdra's not a weak Pokemon or a frail Pokemon at all. And uh, Latios and Haxorus will both go down after Stealth Rock to the Ice Beam. We're actually at 24 minutes right now. Um, let's actually see what my rank is. I know I did a few battles prior to recording a while back because I thought I would be starting this a while back. But uh, I was a bit, obviously I was wrong. Let's see where my rank is though. Why did I do random battles on this account? Oh, I'm actually 1361. That's cool. Uh, Haxorus. <laughs> Why did I do random battles? <laughs> um, anyway, able to knock out Haxorus with the Ice Beam and Latios is going to come out and that is also going to go down to the uh, Ice Beam. And if it for some reason does outspeed me, then it cannot knock out Amistar plus Tornadus. Um, because it has to go for, let's say it goes for Psy Shock right here, let's say it's Choice Scarf and it goes for Psy Shock. 
I actually don't remember if that outspeeds Kingdra. I don't feel like doing the math in my head right now. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be able to uh, I'm gonna be able to knock him out with this ice beam, and it should be a good game. Um, a really odd play on my opponent's part. Uh, <laughs> he got me when he went out to Magna Zone. Um, the Light General shouldn't be a Polytoad switching. That should be trapping my Ferrothorn. Uh, he should have went for sub. He really should have went for sub because he would have been in a better position. Um, though he would not have gotten a kill because Garchomp wouldn't have taken crap from Flash Cannon anyway. I still, it still would have been better for him, but I think we're going to leave it at 26 minutes, roughly 26 minutes for the first episode of Road to Top 10 or SLU. Guys, if you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like. If you're hyped for this, leave a like, leave a favorite. <laughs> it reminds me of that video I was on with Jambad. If you've ever been, uh, if you've ever been shut down by Jambad, feel free to leave a like. Um, I don't know if you guys ever watched that video. I probably could leave a link to it. But thank you everybody for watching. Like I said, if you're hype, I'm hype. This is this is one of the rare times where I'm laddering an OU or on the ladder or I actually have a goal. Like I actually have a goal for this. And that is to get to top 10. Obviously, I'm not on even top 500 right now. But um, that's it, guys. Feel free to subscribe if you want, if you do enjoy my content. I do have a bunch of other stuff, though it's mainly showdown and Wi-Fi, I guess, guides as well. And thank you, everybody, for watching. So until next time, guys, later.